Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Elizabeth, and I'm here to share information, tips, and ideas on how to live a happier and healthier life and how to improve yourself as a person. Today, we're going to talk about things that I do as a parent to help my son. So I have a two-year-old, he just turned two, and of course I'm still learning, but I actually have a background in psychology, sociology, human development, and I just love learning about this stuff and I really care about being a good mom. And so I'd love to share the information with you. Let's get started. So first, one of the first things that I do to help my son is that I work on myself. Pregnancy is this whole thing, your body changes, your mind changes, your hormones are going crazy, all sorts of things happen. And so once you have this beautiful life and this gift, your son or your daughter into the world, it's seriously one of the most wonderful, beautiful things in the world. It's life changing. And it's been such a gift and a blessing. My husband and I are so grateful. Um, but it really made me see how much I needed to work on myself and how much I wanted to work on myself. I want to be the best person that I can be for myself and for my son and for my family. I want to help him live a good life. And so I think one of the best ways you can help your kids is to take care of you. Yes, we have to sacrifice. Yes, there are things that you have to do and you are responsible for a human and you want to take care of them and nurture them. You have to feed them in the first three years of life and all that stuff. But if you're not taking care of you, then your kids are not going to be as thriving and as successful. And they deserve a parent who is taking care of themselves and who's full of life and is energetic and who is just taking charge of their life. So that's one of the things that I do. Another thing I do to help my son is exercise daily. Now, I did not always do this. I always exercise before being pregnant, but then COVID happened and then I was pregnant and I just didn't feel the same and the world was shut down and all this stuff. But I really thrive when I exercise and I highly, highly recommend this to anyone, even if you didn't have kids, if you're not a woman, whatever, exercise. Exercise has literally been shown to go head to head with antidepressants in helping treat people's depression and helping them feel their best and helping them feel focused and energized and ready. Exercise literally changes your brain and your body is there to reward you. That's why I'm here to share natural tips and natural things to do to be successful and to be healthy and to be wealthy because your body is designed to take care of you. So when you exercise, your body releases dopamine and endorphins, these feel good hormones and chemicals and the neurotransmitters transmitters that make you feel happy, healthy, and good. It's great. You can feel strong. I'm back into weightlifting. And so I can feel strong. I feel ready. I can take care of my son. I can pick him up. I can play with him. I'm energized. Um, how many of you like to come home at the end of the day? Maybe you're working and you just feel drained and exhausted. I know I did. And I was more compassionate with myself when I was pregnant, but I also had to have a hard talk with myself and say, Hey, you know, exercise is really good for you. You really make, need to make this a priority or, Hey, you used to do this and you kind of let it slide. I think that your life would be better if you made those changes. And honestly, I've been making those changes and I cannot tell you how good I feel. Do I always feel like exercising? No. Do I always feel like doing some of the things that I'm recommending? No, but I'm doing them. And the more you show up and the more you do them, the more you build them as a habit and you do them when you don't feel like it, the stronger your muscle becomes and it just becomes a habit. And sometimes you don't have the best days in the gym, but a lot of times you're going to be grateful and glad that you went. So I highly, highly recommend exercise. A great way to help your kids is to eat healthy. So a lot of these come back to taking care of yourself. And I know that parent being a parent can be one of the most sacrificial jobs in the world, but I also want to be a parent who takes care of myself. And I want to be a voice to say that that is okay. And I know some people say, nope, it's just the stage you're in or nope, that's just what you're going to have to do. Now you have kids and you have to sacrifice every single thing about yourself, or you're just going to gain weight, or you're just going to be tired all the time, or you're just going to be cranky and sad. And it's all about the kids and not about you. And yes, your kids matter. I love my son so much and I want to pour into him and surround him with people who care about him and let him do cool activities and just all that stuff I do. But I find that it's easier to do those things when I'm taking care of myself. Yes, maybe I have to wake up earlier. Maybe I have to do the things later than I normally would like to, or I have to work out or do the thing alongside them. But when you're eating healthy, when you're fueling your body with good foods, you feel better you feel better. And you're an example now. You're a role model. Your kids are going to see what you do. Yes, they might want to change things and they might not do want to do exactly what you do. But 
one of their biggest examples in the world is going to be the people, the friends that they have and the families of the friends, and then also you. So I know I just want to feel my best. And I also want to be that example. Um, but take care of you, whether it's with food, whether it's with exercise. I know sleep can be an up and down one and something to work through, but the eating well is something you can control and also the exercise. All right, I learned a lot about this in college, about self-awareness. Now, there's also self-management, which is really important as well. But basically, self-awareness is understanding how you are acting or not acting and how you affect other people or the world. So you know, how are you acting? How are you not acting? And you are actually aware of it. Have you ever seen people that just don't seem to understand what their actions are? actions are or the repercussions of their actions and that doesn't go over well so as a parent I want to be someone who is in control of myself and learns how to control and manage my emotions as people you all have emotions and so like if you're on any journey if you're trying to be successful if you're trying to achieve a goal you're gonna have emotions and things that come up because you're human and there's it's life and you need to learn how to deal with it. All successful people, all successful moms, all successful business owners, all successful people, they learn how to deal with that stuff. And I want to be that. I don't want to be the screaming, yelling mom. I don't want to be the crying, cranky mom. I don't want to be that. I want to be the peace. I want to be the rock. I want to be the empathetic one. I want to be the one who knows how to manage my own emotions and regulate so I can be a safe place for my kids and so that I can help them be regulated because they're learning too. They're young. They don't know how to control their emotions. How are they going to learn how to control their emotions when you don't? Is it hard? Yes. Is it just exhausting at times? Yes. But one of the best things you can do is to be aware and say, maybe hey, I've been losing my temper a lot. Okay, good that you have awareness. Now, what can you do? And I think that's so empowering. I always say, go back to you. What can you change? And if you can work on that and go, how can I be less angry? Why do I get angry? Do I need more help? Do I need more support? Am I not getting sleep? Like, what do you need? So check in with you. And the better that you're doing, the better your kids are going to be doing. And I've learned this. I used to, I love working with kids. I've always been passionate about helping kids. But as I've gotten older and I've been a teacher and I've seen my fellow um, co-workers and I've seen parents and all this stuff, kids, uh, adults need help. And kids are going to be better when adults are better. I've seen a lot of uh, stressed out adults and adults having a hard time managing their life and handling the hard things about the world. That's why I'm so passionate about helping people be healthier, helping them manage their finances, all that stuff. Because when you're worried about that, it's harder to be there for your kids. It's harder to be peaceful. It's harder to be happy. And so, of course, you can do all these things. You can be an awesome parent, even if you're not exercising, even if you're not doing these things. But you're going to probably be much better if you are. So anyways, I think it's super, super important to learn how to manage your emotions. I'm going to be talking about that a lot on the channel because I think it's something that's not talked about enough. And I'd love to support you guys in that. In addition to taking care of myself, I also am learning to teach my son healthy habits. So he's eating healthy. He is actually eating a plant-based diet, um, which is scientifically backed. Don't freak out. As long as it's well-planned, then it can be good. Of course, you guys are welcome to do whatever. I'm going to be talking about a wide variety of things on my channel. It's not just a plant-based channel. Um, and of course, everybody's on their own journey and you can do whatever you want. This is just what works best for me and my family at this time. And my son is thriving. He's energetic. He usually, his emotions and stuff are pretty in check. Um, he's really doing well. His pediatricians, all of his doctors just comment on how well he's doing and to keep it up. Of course, he's a normal toddler and he's not perfect, but he's doing well. And so getting them rest, we worked really hard to make sure he's getting good rest. I know that can be a big challenge for parents. And I only have um, one child. I do have a stepson, but um, one child that we've been through with that. And so I don't know if it's just his temperament or also some of the things we've done, but I'm happy to share more tips about that because he's a great sleeper, knock on wood, at least right now. Um, and then the food, getting him outside, getting him playing, getting him in control of his emotions, teaching him about emotions and how he's feeling. Oh, you're sad right now, labeling it and all that good stuff, getting him time with friends. These are healthy habits that you start implementing now. And so that is essential. 
Another thing that I'm doing that I love is learning more about personal finance, investing, and setting up different accounts. So I've been talking a lot about this on my channel. I believe I'm going to pivot and I'm going to be talking about other topics as well because there's more topics that can help you live a happier and healthier life. But if the finances ends up being something that people need, then I'll definitely keep doing it. Um, but teaching them about that, talking about money. How many of you actually talked about money with your families and your parents or felt weird about it? I always felt weird. My husband would be like, know about how much people would make and just talk so candidly about money. I'm like, oh my gosh. But that's the best way to do things. Be candid. And that's one thing I do with my son too. I'm real with him. Of course, there's age appropriate ways to say things, but honestly, I talk to him like an adult at times and I communicate clearly and effectively with him. I might have to adjust it, of course, because he's still so little, but I think we forget that we can be real. We can talk to them that way. And they're actually a lot smarter and it helps their brains too, to adjust and to become even smarter and to get there and make connections. Sometimes they can't make the connections if you don't allow for them to see the full picture and to see the full side of the story. So teaching them about investing. So I knew about saving, but I didn't know about investing. And I was, my personality was a saver and I saved my money. I didn't just spend it all. But if I would have been investing it for 20 years, I would have an extra 20 years under my belt. I don't, and that's okay. But teach, if I had someone who taught me that, then I'd be in a different situation. So it's powerful. And the compounding effect, the compounding interest, the eighth wonder of the world could change their life. And so I've realized too, the more information that you know, the better off your kids will be. Of course, they might learn things in school and from other people, but the more you're educated, the more they will be educated. So I think that's really important. Another thing that's a common theme is I'm working on myself in my own life. My son is the absolute biggest blessing that I could ever ask for. My husband is amazing as well. Um, and my stepson, but it's just such a gift, but I'm working on my life for him. I want to be able to be happy with myself and what I'm doing. I want to enjoy my life and my work. And I want to eventually be able to spend more time with him and get to be involved and more involved and have more time to be at more of his activities or volunteer in his school or homeschool or whatever. I have no idea. I just want to have that choice in that time. And so I'm working right now on myself and my life and my goals and my ambitions. And of course, he's still a part of them. I'm spending a boatload of time with him. And as a teacher, we get to spend a lot of time with our families, which is one of the best things in the world. I'm so grateful, but work on yourself. At least that's what I'm doing. And it's such a gift. I've grown so much since having my son and it's, it's just been a blessing. So keep working on yourself, go for your goals, see how you can improve yourself. That will eventually, it will also help your kids, right? I realize it's like, whoa, the choices I'm making, it's not just about me anymore. It's about my kids right? And so you want to make those choices to get better and to be healthier and all of those things and happier and peaceful for them. A super important one, I invest in my relationship with my husband. Of course, this is a given to me, but I've just felt the need to share it because it can be, especially the younger years, there's a lot going on with your kids, so much going on. It can be stressful and the roles and the dynamics kind of change a bit. Um, but investing in your relationship with your spouse and your significant significant other is so important. I come from a Christian background and they say, God, your spouse, your kids. And I think if you are good with yourself and with God, like your spiritual self, you're good. And you're good with your spouse, your husband, then your kids are going to thrive and be good. So having like yourself in order and your spiritual life in order, having your relationship with your spouse going awesome. And you just are nurturing that and spending time together and helping support each other, filling each other up with good things. You're taking turns, you're helping each other out because sometimes we have 80% in the tank or 20% in the tank and we kind of pick each other up and pick each other slack up and stuff. But then your kids are going to thrive, right? So we all have to start from this order and everyone will be better. One thing that you'll learn about me is that I absolutely love to learn. So I'm a teacher, but I just, I'm so passionate about learning and it can be about anything. And I'm sure I'll continue to change what I'm interested in as I learn new things and I've moved past the topic, but I love to learn. And one of the best things that you can do for your kids is to learn. You can learn and to grow. I always want to be a better version of myself. Yes, you need to accept yourself as you are and have that self-love and know that you're already good enough, but 
by all means, grow, keep learning, keep getting better, keep making new moves and advancements in your life. Keep challenging yourself. That is what life to me and what makes me feel good about my life besides my family and all that stuff and people is growing and learning. And so go for it. That is one of my favorite things to do. And I hope that can help you too. Also, I am there. I am present. So I might be gone some of the time. I have to work. I have to do other activities or things where I am taking care of myself. But I make time for my son. Like, he's my son. And so I make the time for him. And when I'm with him, I try to maximize that time. I try to be fully engaged. I try to come up with little things that I could teach him or help him with. I talk to him. I get to know him. That's another aspect is get to know your kids. Get to know that someone asked me that. What's your favorite part about having... Um, a son or a child. And I on, I s- thought about it and immediately I just said, I just love getting to know him and spend time with him. Like he's his own person, right? And so regardless of my background or my beliefs or anything, like he's him. And you already see that. You can see who these kids are from the beginning. Of course, they grow and they learn and they adapt over time and change, but they're them. And it's so fun seeing what he's interested in and just learning about him. So get to know your kids. That's going to be essential just to enjoy being a parent and to be able to help them become better kids and to help identify where they need support or encourage them in certain aspects if they're really interested in one particular um, thing. I know my mom was really awesome about that. If my brother and I were interested in something, they would support us in that and they would buy certain things that would help us or take us to certain experiences that would um, support that thing. So I highly recommend doing that. All right. So those were a few things that I would do to help myself as a parent so that I could be a better mom and so that my kids can thrive. I also have some tips that I wrote out and I have a lot of them about things I do to help my son be happy and healthy. And so literal things that are more focused on him. Some of these things were focused on me and what I need to do as a parent, but there's also things that you can teach them or help them with, or that you specifically do as a parent in order to help your child grow and thrive. And so I'm all about help helping parents be healthy, happy, and to feel good. But I also want to have healthy, happy, and thriving kids. So if you're interested in that, or you want to learn more about personal development and growing and becoming better, or just follow along on the journey, feel free to subscribe to this channel and comment below for more. Comment below your tips so that we can all help each other out. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.